Welcome. My name is Mrs. Chapman, and today I'm going to explain how to solve variables and expressions to sixth grade. A variable is a letter from the alphabet, A through Z. It can be any letter in the alphabet. And unless we're told what that letter stands for, we don't know. In this lesson, they're going to tell us what to substitute in for the letter. Let's take a look at an example. Tons and tons of examples. In the first one, they tell us B equals 25. So wherever I see a B, I'm going to put in a 25. So instead of saying 16 plus B, I'm going to say 16 Plus, they tell me that B equals 25. And then they're going to tell me to evaluate. And evaluate is the same thing as solve. So they, they're looking for an answer after you substitute. So 16 plus 25 is 41. And that's all we do. Let's take a look at another example. They're going to tell me x is 24. So wherever I see x, I'm going to put 24. And y is 27. So wherever I see y, I'm going to put 27. So my x is 64. My operation is minus. And my y is 27. And 64 minus 27, put the 1, carry the 1, put the 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 14 minus 7 is 7, X when X minus Y, when X is 24, Y is 27, your answer is going to be 37. The great thing about variables is you can put any number in there you want. But like I said before, in this case, they're going to tell you what to put in. Let's look at example number three. 5t plus 4 if t equals 3. So wherever I see a t, I'm going to put a 3. When there's no operation, it can be a variable and a variable, or it can be a variable and a number. Anytime they're pushed together like that, it automatically means you're going to use the operation of multiplication. So what this really says is 5 times t plus 4. Remember, wherever I see a t, I'm going to put a 3. So 5 times 3 plus 4. Remember order of operations? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's just to let us know what operation to do first. We're going to do our multiplication first, because multiplication comes before addition. So, 5 times 3 is 15, and then we add 4, we're going to get 19. Let's go on to another one. In this case, all my A's are going to equal 6. So everywhere I see an A, I'm going to plug in a 6. A, A, A. Okay. And everywhere I see a B, I'm going to substitute a 4. 4. I'm going to plug in a 4 there. And in these, I don't have 4's. Okay. So I'm looking for my colors. A, 6. 6 plus 8, and then I'm going to solve or evaluate. 6 plus 8 is 14. My A is 6. My B is 4. And this is a multiplication sign. And 6 times 4 is 24. My A is 6. My B is 4. You know, I 
think that was a minus sign. So I'm going to do a minus over here. Let's say that's minus since I already did multiplication. 6 minus 4, or a minus b, is 2. Uh, here I have it again. They're pushed together, number and a variable. That operation is multiplication. So what it really says is 2 times a minus 5. And my a equals 6, so it's saying 2 times 6 minus 5. My order of operations tells me to do multiplication first, so 6 times 2 is 12, and then subtract 5, and 12 minus 5 is 7. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, now they're getting a little bit more difficult. Here I have three variables. Everywhere I see a C, I'm going to put a 9. I don't have a C in this one, and I'm going to plug in a 9 here. On the, everywhere I see a B, I'm going to put a 15. And I don't see any Bs. Did I miswrite something? Hmm, I forgot a problem. Let's call this problem number... 11, and that would be b squared minus 5c. Okay, so everywhere I see a b, I'm going to put a 15. And let's find a different color. Everywhere I see an a, I'm going to plug in a 4. Okay, I like to color coat makes things easier on the eyes so I don't miss something. My C is 9, so this is 9 squared, the operation addition, and A equals 4. 9 squared means 9 times 9, and then I'm going to add the 4. According to order of operations, I'm going to multiply before I add. So 9 times 9 is 81 plus 4, and 81 plus 4 is 85. Try not to do these in your head. I've seen a lot of students make mistakes when they're doing them in their head. Make sure you write it all down, because if you do make a mistake, you can go back and double check and see where you made that mistake. Here we have multiplication again. 3 times, I don't want to write the times that way. Okay, 3 times a, and I know my a is 4, and then divide by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to divide by 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Here I have two variables, an A and a C. And notice they're all pushed together. You're right, that means multiplication when they're all pushed together, when I see absolutely no sign and no spaces. So I really have 2 times my A is 4 and my C is 9. I'm going to multiply straight across. I'm going to use parentheses so I know what I'm solving first. 2 times 4 is 8. I did not solve the times 9, and 8 times 9 is 72. Last one. My B is 15, and that's 15 squared minus 5. Oh my goodness, I did not highlight my C. There we go. My C is 9, and they're pushed together, so that means 5 times 9. Now, 15 squared really means 15 times 15. I'm going to rewrite the whole problem, writing out what 15 squared means. Now, I'm going to come over here and say 15 times 15. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 
is 7. Put my placement 0. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now I'm going to add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 15 times 15 is 225. Then I'm going to times, I have subtraction and multiplication. And don't go ahead and automatically say 225 minus 5 just because it comes next. Because remember, we have, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or order of operations, and it tells us to do multiplication first. So I have to do 5 times 9. So my problem is 225 minus, and 5 times 9 is 45. And then I subtract. And 225 minus 45, 5 minus 5 is 0. I can't take away the 2, take away 4 from the 2, so I carry a 1. That turns into 1. 12 minus 4 is 8. Bring down my 1, and my answer is 180. Very good. If you look at part B, that's where you'll have the word problems using variables and solving variables and expressions. Thank you for listening.